very good morning everyone and wish you all a very happy women's day in fact uh, one day in a year we say women's day that means that every other day is a men's day <laughs> uh, i think it should be other way around it should be all the time women's day every man follows the women's day all the time so maybe this will come up a, a new version of it thank you so much uh, reminding me and giving me an opportunity to share today i was thinking about what should i do in terms of discussing with you last time when i came here i talked about of karnataka and i want to talk about of you know what we are doing very differently with touch base i can't leave karnataka from my heart and my soul that will still be there but i thought i will talk about of something very different today and the different is that when i was realizing myself and saying wish i would have born or i was like roughly around 20 years of age at this point of time wish i was why because this is a time for india and this is a time for the young generation to leverage the opportunities that india has today i wish i could i see my kids and i say that was you know why are you looking for something else why don't you start something differently just try it out my father did block me my father said boss get into the job somewhere you know otherwise there's nothing that i can support you But today, our generation, two of our kids can say that. But whenever I look at mirror, I say, "Wish I could have got a chance as well to do something differently." Nevertheless, age is not a bar. I can still think of maybe after my retirement to do something else as well. But let let me share with you a story of uh, India, a startup nation. Is it true? Why? What opportunities it opens for? And I want to bring you some statistics on the ground. Today, if you pick up the GDP. and on a pbb basis on a parity basis you will find we are the third largest gdp in the world but if you pick up a typical real time basis we are the fifth largest and we going to become the fourth largest in the world this journey of us of becoming the third or the fourth largest which is going to be true for sure and the fourth is, is near by in terms of real value it's just not too far we are the most powerful economy and by 2047 and 2030 will be somewhere around between top 3 2 and 3 and that range around so imagine the graph that you see for the next 10 to 12 years from a growth what we see today here and friends this is a number which talks about from a comparison of what would happen in 1991 can you imagine what is the karnataka's gdp today any guess it was it is same what was of india's gdp in 1991 look at the numbers today we are talking about of 3.3 trillion dollars of economy we are spending on the data on the analytics on the using of the of the data as well and many of those statistics proves that we are ahead of the other part of the world then i just want to shift from there and say hey, wish i would have been born like i was saying today wish i could have been born here in this period of time of 15 years back and this is the time when we say that india's journey starts with a startup and entrepreneur and this is a right forum and i can talk about of this because 119000 startups in india are today plus many of them are not registered many of them so we use the word plus but the look at the value that is created so far by these 550 billion dollars twice the economy of of 1991 of india twice in last just 7 to 8 years friends sochne mein lagta hai ki ye number hai aur jab aap feel karoge na ki 7 8 saal mein humne 550 billion dollar ka economy khadi ki hai from startup entrepreneurs big round of applause for the entire country of india amazing I try to use this word, and I'm, I'm using Mr. Mohanda Spice' very favorite statement of "new flywheel ramping up." When he says that, great companies of SCLs, Infosys, Tata, Cognizant, everybody was doing it from 1990s or till 2025. They are projection of ourselves around six billion people will be employed in this of how many years? Almost 30, 35 years. Friends, the startups. ecosystem is going to employ more workforce than what has been done by these big companies so 
you see the new flywheel is not on the top or part of the slide. The new flywheel is coming up from the bottom part, which is your 2025 projections for enterprise. And you all are part of that. And I say to both all of you, top rates, actually set up the startup ecosystem. And hence the value has been done. This 146 is one number, but actually the number is $165 billion. Has been raised by the startup so far. The valuation has created $550 billion, but the funds have been raised $165 billion so far. And in this, today, we are the largest 700 plus incubators and accelerators across the country. We are demonstrating the power of what the other part of the world saw in 20 years period of time, or 25 years of time, in the last eight years. And Please be proud and clap for Bangalore. The biggest circle of India is of startup ecosystem, is of Bangalore. <laughs> we are. And in fact, the discussion happened between a couple of us uh, when we were in Silicon Valley. They said, hey, great Bangalore, Silicon Valley of East. We said, wait. When we come next time, a couple of years later, we call, hey, great to see you, Bangalore of West. And we will, we will, we will be there. Sooner or later, we will be there. Maybe a couple of years period of time. I used this set, this uh, statement in my last uh, year as well. I just want to share with you. When I was walking on the streets of uh, SFO, I saw one pillar to talk about of how many miles away London is, how many miles away you know uh, Chicago is. I was so happy when I saw miles away Bangalore is in that pool on the street of the San Francisco. One, state, one city in the world demonstrate the power. So India's startup lens, friends, starts from Bangalore. If you are in Bangalore, you are a startup ecosystem player of India as well. I'm not saying others are not, but you are much more powerful. Clap to all of them for 110 million pounds which have been gone so far. This slide is mixed slide of various domains of retail, fintech, health tech, payments, gateways, etc., etc., etc. 110 unicorns. And friends, these have created $350 billion. Or I hope you all know that there's a place here in Bangalore, Kura Mangla and HSR Leo. Sabne Ram Suna hai, right? Or Jo Bahar se hai, Jo Nahi Suna hai, Unse Mera Nivedan hai, Jo Zaroor Jayao Dekh Kya. 5 kilometer radius of that region has a valuation of the companies of 250 billion dollars of that region itself. 5 kilometer radius. And that's what a public part of, of the Karnataka is. We are very proud also to see that the VC ecosystem has been very matured now. And the VC ecosystem is actually shaping in such a way that today, you know, the, all the VCs which outside India they look at now India to set up. Almost you pick up almost 500 top VCs of the world, you will find almost 450 plus are operating today from India and 90% or 85% of them are operating from Bangalore. And in fact, some of them do set up some offices outside Bangalore. They realize that that's now maybe strategy has to change to shift their base from outside Bangalore to come to Bangalore. So I warmly welcome all of them here. And whosoever is not so far, you're missing the big bus. Apart from this, friends, the deep tech is showing a very different results in India. And that's an opportunity when we look at it. From 4,000 plus in AI startups to look at 200 plus in robotic startups, there are space technology, clean techs, IOTs, fabulous designs. And an amazing work is happening on so much of deep tech that you will find that new opportunities. The sunrise industry from startups is actually this. And in fact, the one of the uh, marketers is like your creative part. You know that AVGC and the gaming industry is going to boom in, in, in India now a big way. The creatives of the entire movie creations around the world is happening around in India right now. The talent is here. Mission Impossible of the recently movie they Kyo, correct? Have you seen that movie by any chance? I have seen many multiple times. All the effects have been created in Bangalore of that movie. The talent, the ABGC, the stuff, 
is coming up here. Friends, the digital media is becoming the mainstream now. This is what India is today. Completely changing in the perspective of what we use the consumption of the data. In one year itself, from 2020-23, 2 GB per person has been changed. The growth rate is so big. And the millions of users, subscribers, is growing to almost 500 billion population in India is using the story here. Another data point for you to look at where the India is going. The YouTubers. In fact, the YouTuber channel, both the number of subscribers as well as the channel are from India. Highest. Don't you feel that where the India is completely transformed now and great opportunity comes into play? As I was saying for the online gaming portfolio, 110 million population are paid subscribers for a gaming. Paid, unpaid, almost four to five times. Maybe 400, 400 million population is right on gaming. In Udupi region, in Bangalore, in Bangalore region, we have got some seven to eight gaming companies. A local community has taken up from perspective of putting together a, a fund also for that. I'm Mark, I've been reminded from my timeline, but I need a couple of more minutes uh, uh, to finish the storyline. I don't want to end up in a, in, in a sudden way. Health tech. You pick up the 8,000 plus startups in health tech which have been changing this. And because of the India stack which has been put together. And the India stack is producing the fantastic set that we can expose to the other part of the world. Digital payments. 6.46 billion volume has been now gone to 40.11 in just two years period of time, more than double. The data exchange concept platform that has been developed by the India stack, the ONDC platform which has been developed by the India stack, Adhar and UPI, Uprani Vagovi, all these are new versions of India stack that we are producing it. And another statistic for you, in US, 56% of the population of the founders of the unicorns are US citizens, also US born. And 44% are non US born. And on this 44%, the largest share is Indian founders in those unicorns. We want to bring them back here. So you see the power of India which is going up. The top three value creations in the world is us, after US and China, in terms of the creation of the wealth. Just few slides on why we are today. Friends, I'm so happy that some of my colleagues from the electronics industry are here, from the semicon industry are here, from the IT services companies are there. I'm so happy to know this. But I'm happy also to know that they are the one who has made us the numero uno here. So my thanks to them is much more bigger than the proud feeling of here. Because of them, the Karnataka is the numero uno. So you see the electronics designs, you see in the exports of the defense, all electronic products, we are number one in terms of the world. When I say that $65 billion have been raised by the startups across the country in the last seven, eight years, out of this 50%, $65 billion have been raised by only Karnataka. 110 unicorns that we bond is roughly 45 plus unicorns are from Karnataka. And we have similar number in the Sony cons as well. I'll not go to this part, but I want to tell you one more important thing. We are a leading state in GCCs, and GCCs framework of the maturity cup has been defined by us. The R&D innovation which happens in GCCs is very different. 36 to 40 percent on an average is the GCC work waste, waste out of Karnataka as well. Bangalore home to 60 percent of four best 2000 companies in the world here in Bangalore itself. This is my list of unicorns and sonicorns in Karnataka as one could. The India slide was complicated, so the Karnataka slide is also complicated. And this is becoming more complicated because it's aiming to 250 unicorns to be born. More. And out of which I'm expecting 150, 130 will be born from that. In the electronic system design manufacturing, we do have a couple of more minutes. I'm sorry for that. In the electronic system design manufacturing, we have shown the path of can you imagine the first ever fabulous design experiment? So Dagiji is here. He's one of those leaders who has been divided. He's a very silent person. Please meet him. He's the one who has been demonstrating the power of Karnataka on telling how a supper can be made a prominent version of a fabulous design startup ecosystem. Amazing work under his leadership has been given to the state of Karnataka. 
We are very proud of what we are doing here. Pick up the name of any top big companies of this. I am hopeful that Vinanta will also look at Backlog and Karnataka as well. Akash, you are the name Look at this, the version that we are creating it here. We want more brands to be here and we are very aggressively working on it. We have also looked into uh, almost a clusters approach where we are trying to put together uh, electronic manufacturing clusters and roughly around 250 acres of land has been identified in both the locations of Harvard and Mesut. Pick up the four, 500 top MNCs of the world, all of four, 500, 400 MNCs operate as an R&D innovation center here. The largest one, the Boeing one that you saw in the news, which is the largest Boeing one center. And all these is, are of these coming up from our partner organizations called IESA as well. Pick up the anything that you want, I just want to run to data centers, to aerospace and defense, leading, leading organizations to electrical vehicles. Look at the center of excellence on different kinds that you come up and more are coming up in this new budget that's been announced of the, of the center of excellence. These all center of excellence are creating a huge amount of impact on startup ecosystem, incubation centers, etc. Friends, we also believe in really decentralization of this. The state cannot be recognized by Bangalore alone. We want to be recognized by Bangalore and beyond. And so we have this Mesuru, Mangalore, and the making an edge out of this. Mangalore is going to focus on FinTech, Mesuru for cyber security, and Hubli Bilgon Harvard for agri tech and health tech, etc. They were trying to put together, apart from all the other engineering research design services that happens there. In last 24 months, we have got some 47 companies open their operations in these three locations alone. <coughs> like a cricket, my, my run rate is two companies per month. And we want to make it five to ten companies in coming years. Imagine the way we are creating it. The GCs have started looking at setting their operations. <coughs> we are also putting up a plan for democratization of entrepreneurship. This is a concept that Karnataka has put together to the India. And the which one is elevate, giving grants from IDW to POC from across the state. Just a grant up to 50 lakhs. Setting up cluster seed funds in different levels of the clusters. For which we want to have a partnership with the local community. Thank you so much. Local community. In the HNI of the local clusters, they are coming up. Institutional investors and the government spending money on setting up this VC arm at the very cluster level. Mesur cluster seed fund only for Mesur based startups. We are also connecting with the accelerators. We don't believe in setting up a one huge building. You know what I'm trying to say. We don't set up a huge building to say accelerator. Decentralization. Every in the city cluster will have an accelerator. We have mature accelerators in Bangalore and potential accelerators coming up in these clusters. Karnataka is a state where we have the GIA, a global innovation alliance with more than 29 or 30 countries around the world. We give our startups the global market access along with all partnership of countries. So our Australia, Netherlands, in fact some of the delegation is going to Dubai, some is going to Netherlands for cyber security companies. They are having a launch pad for them to come and book market access for Europe. All these are available from the Karnataka state. I am very happy when the US says that I want to set up the Council General here in Bangalore now. It's a bomb welcome. Why? But they may relation well, but who are to say? But all the other embassies, Israel, UK, High Commission, everybody operates from Bangalore here. The policy framework is one which will take place. One, friends, Tali Rana, please, to motivate me and to my state, which is startup policy, first time in India, was defined by Karnataka. Every other state is talking about the startup policy, first version, second version. We are talking about the third version of the policy of the startups, etc. So we are there. This is all because of the great partnership that we do. Whosoever is not from Bangalore or not tested Bangalore, I request them to please give your valuable time, five minutes to me to talk to me. I'll make you understand more that why you are missing. And if you don't want to miss, then I'm your friend to take you here along. Thank you so much and a great show for you today. I'm sorry I didn't give you more time.